What's up guys, that was Scar Audio and today I have one of our newest four channel amplifiers. It is the SA125.4D and I'm gonna be putting it on our SMD amp dyno to see actually what kind of power it can make. So stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this because I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, what are the real numbers on this amp? And I think we're all gonna be blown away because of the reviews we've gotten so far from our customers saying that it is an absolute powerhouse. So let's get this thing hooked up and see what it can actually do. So I have the SA125.4D right here in my hands. And as you can see, it's a pretty compact amp and it is super sleek. So no matter what build you're doing, it's gonna look great. It can fit in small spaces and also it's gonna be super powerful. So let's get this thing hooked up to the dyno and actually see what kind of power it makes. All right, guys, and we're gonna be starting off our test with the certified power run. We're gonna be doing a four ohm, a two ohm, as well as a four ohm bridge test to see what this amp can do. So let's get this first test on the way, the four ohm certified power run. As you can see, we did 200 watts on channel one, 209 watts on channel two, and then on channels three and four, we did pretty much the same numbers, 200 watts on channel three, 209 watts on channel four. Now let's go to the two ohm test. All right, so this is gonna be the certified power run test at two ohm for the SA125.4D. Let's see what it does. Numbers are in. Channel one, we did 315 watts. Channel two, we did 330 watts. Channels three, we did 324 watts. Channel four, we did 328 watts. Pretty awesome numbers. Now let's do the bridged test for the certified power run. All right, so as you can see, channels one and two bridge did 396 watts at forum and then for channels three and four bridge, we did 400 watts of four ohm. Awesome numbers. Now let's get to the uncertified dyno run. All right, so as you can see, channel one did 203 watts, channel two did 206 watts, channel three did 200 watts, and channel four did 209 watts. All right guys, so let's start the next test, which is the two ohm uncertified power run. All right, so as you can see, channel one did 322 watts, channel two did 328 watts, channel three did 315 watts, and channel four did 333 watts. Now let's do the final uncertified power run, which is the four ohm bridged. So let's see what this amp can put out. The results are in. Channels one and two bridge brought us 423 watts at four ohm, and then channels three and four brought 440 watts at four ohm. We are now on the last style of testing for the SA125.4D, and that is the dynamic power run. Just like all of our other tests, we're gonna be doing four ohm, two ohm, as well as a four ohm bridge test. So let's get the first test started, the four ohm dynamic power run. As you can see, channel one did 215 watts, channel two did 234 watts, channel three did 219 watts, and channel four did 236 watts. Now let's get to the two ohm test. As 
So we got for channel one, 376 watts, channel two, 411 watts, channel three, 369 watts, and channel four, 395 watts. All right guys, so we are now on the final test of the video as the dynamic power run, four ohm bridged for the SA125.4D. And there you have it guys, channels one and two bridge did 406 watts, and then channels three and four bridge did 420 watts. Awesome numbers overall. This is an amazing amplifier, super small footprint. As you can see, the numbers speak for themselves. All right guys, the results are in, and the SCAR Audio SA125.4D is absolutely insane. If you're looking for a four channel that's small like this, that can actually pump out real world power that's above rating. Look no further than the SCAR Audio SA125.4D. An amp this small pumping out those numbers we just saw, pretty awesome if you ask me. Make sure you like and subscribe, drop a comment below, scaraudio.com.